Hey guys, welcome to crafting time with Tiffany. <laughs> so as you can see, I have this old milk can. A couple weeks ago, me and my best friend went to a craft fair where they sell like all kinds of different things that people have made. But on our way to the craft fair, we saw a yard sale and we decided to stop. And this woman had two old milk cans and most of the time when you find these really doesn't depend what shape they're in they're usually expensive i actually bought a milk can earlier this year and it was like 35 bucks and that was cheap most of them are a lot more than that we asked if these were for sale because my best friend actually got the other one you're gonna hear lots of cars in the background i'm sorry but this video has to be outside so we asked if they were for sale and she was like yeah she's like my mom's just trying to get rid of them she's like we'll take five bucks a piece for them and we're like me and my best me and my friend like looked at each other like that's really good we'll take them there's also gonna be lots of chickens in the background but um five bucks for this so it does have a little bit of rust on the bottom it has a lot of holes in it it also had this weird piece of like chunk of metal underneath one of the handles that I literally have no idea why it was there. But um, I took a hammer and just popped at it and it actually came right out. I, and I don't know why it was there, but um, I got that gone. But my plan is I'm going to redo this because I don't like the red and the black. I got some spray paint. So the one that I got is the Rust-Oleum, and this is the Satin Smoky Beige is the color. I was wanting, I didn't want white, but I wanted a, some sort of like off-white color, so this was the best I could find. It's a very light beige kind of color, so we'll see if it looks, like turns out the way that I want it to. I also got some matte clear spray paint, um, because this is satin. And I don't think I want it to be shiny. I think I want it to be flat and like a matte kind of finish. So I found this and I just thought I would try it. I have never done anything like this before. Um, so this could go totally wrong. We will see. But um, I know a lot of the videos I've seen online, uh, you'll put like a primer on first and then your color. And then if you want like a top coat on it. But I am not going to put a primer on. I'm just gonna see what's gonna happen because I don't plan on leaving this outside. I plan on bringing it inside, so it's not gonna be out in the rain and the weather and stuff. So I don't, I don't think it needs a primer. It, I might be messing it up. It might need a primer, and I don't even know if this is really gonna cover much um, because this is dark colors that I'm trying to cover up with a white, like a light color. So we'll see. I did buy some sandpaper. I am going to try to clear off a little bit of this rust toward the bottom and just kind of shine it down a little bit. But it already has um, quite a bit of a shiny surface to it. A lot of the old milk can videos I've looked up here on YouTube, the cans are typically not painted from the ones I've seen. Um, they're just like an old rusty milk can and they, most of the people will sand them down and then paint them. But since, the, since this one's already painted, I'm just going to sand certain parts of it and go from there. Okay, so I think I've got it sanded down enough. I honestly don't know. Um, doing that by hand, like really wore my hands out. I've got a wet rag. I'm gonna go around and just like wipe the surface off, get the, like the rusty rust dust off of it. And then I'm gonna dry it off. And then hopefully we're gonna get to painting. Ew, nasty. Okay guys, it is washed and dried off so I've been shaking my can of paint here for a little bit because I know it needs to be shook up really good. Alrighty, I'm going to try not to get this on myself or anybody else. Uh, luckily, the wind is working with me. The wind has stopped, so... Ooh, coming back on me. <laughs> 
spray in a well-ventilated area. It looks really good. I'm happy. Yay, it's covering really well. This stuff says that it's two times ultra cover, so let's keep going. Hopefully one can is enough. I have no idea. Alrighty guys, there's the first coat. I feel like I still got quite a bit of paint left, I think. I painted a little bit on the inside, just like inside the lip. But it's looking pretty good, I'm excited. All right, I'm gonna let this dry and maybe do like a second coat and we'll see. The sun is going down, I think it's about six o'clock. So um, hopefully I can get this uh, finished before it gets dark. <laughs> second coat is done and there's still some left in it but it's basically empty but I think I got everything covered and I think it looks good I'm very impressed with the coverage of this rust-oleum hashtag not sponsored <laughs> but that did really good just for one can I think this was like three dollars and something at Walmart just in case you're curious so this smoky beige turned out to be pretty close to the color that I was wanting. I guess I'm gonna let this dry a little bit for the second coat and then I'll probably spray some of this matte clear paint on it. Um, I know the view you guys can see, you don't see the shine very well. So I'm probably not gonna film that part, but um, I am gonna put a matte clear coat over it um, just to like seal everything in. I haven't decided yet. Uh, I'm not really a great artist or anything, but I kind of toyed with the idea of like, you know, painting something on the front like you know Johnson like my last name or something or doing something to it or even I had an idea just to get like some cute like burlap like a burlap ribbon and tie around it I might do something like that um, but I haven't bought anything like that yet I plan to like I said put this inside and just decorate like in a corner with it but I think this turned out really good I am so excited let me get you guys a close-up after the second coat it's not as satin as I thought it would be, and I honestly might not even need to put this matte clear coat on it, but I'm going to anyways, just because I got it. <laughs> so I'm so excited that I found this $5 milk can at a yard sale. Bargain Central. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, because I post a brand new video every single Friday, and other days sprinkled in between. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!